Hi, it's Jeannie Nadia. I'm back again with another styling tip for your photography. Today I want to talk about nails. So, as you can see, I've got mine grown out quite long and I'm very happy that they've stayed this long without breaking yet. However, um, when you have a model on set, she may not uh, have long nails or she may be a nail biter or the polish may be chipped. So something that I always do with every shoot is make sure that the nails are done. Uh, I have a little bit of pet peeve when I'm looking at a beauty shot and you've got these hands up all graceful and the nail polish is chipped or the nails aren't done. You've got all this makeup and hair done, so make sure the nails are done too. So if you're working with an MUA, it's real easy to you know have them do nails or let your model know ahead of time. But I always keep a little um, emergency stash just in case because sometimes uh, people forget, things get rushed, but you can pick up these little guys at the Dollar Tree and these are just French tip nails. They also have other kinds too, different colors, um, different styles. And I usually keep a couple of these with me when I go to a shoot and then uh, same thing Dollar Tree has the little super glue, nail glue, right? And I keep that in my bag just in case my model, um, her nails aren't done or ready yet. We can pop those on real quick for a shoot and then I don't have to worry about fixing things in post. So I'm going to show you a couple of photos here. Uh, as you can see in this first one with my Snow Queen here, I picked up these nails actually at the Dollar Tree, right? Uh, these cool silver ones and those went really, really well with that shoot. Uh, in this next set here, I have their like an orange metallic, and again, they're kind of long, kind of crazy, but they worked for this particular set. And sometimes I'll, I'll pick up things that look a little bit like, whoa, what the hell is that? Just because I don't know how that's going to work later on. I think, oh, that's, that's kind of cool, and I want to try and use that. Uh, you can also, again, pick up basics, uh, as I'm showing here in this photo. These are the French tips. And again, um, these are just really nice to have in your bag. They work in a pinch in case uh, a nail is broken or um, maybe they forgot to remove their nail polish. And it's just nice to have these and keep that in mind because that's less post work for you. And it's a small detail that does make a lot of difference, I think, in images. And then finally, also, there are nail stickers that you can get at the Dollar Tree too. Now, of course, um, these only cover the length of the natural nail bed. So I like the press-ons better because it gives you the length, but these are also kind of fun too. You can get different colors and patterns. And again, for a buck, they're a nice little investment to keep in your bag. So anyway, um, so I'll just flash through a couple more photos here. And again, press-ons, nail stickers, things that I've used in my shoots. So I hope this tip is helpful. It's a short one, but hopefully you'll keep that in mind when you're shooting. Oh, don't forget about the nails. We've got all the makeup, the hair, the wardrobe. Let's get the nails done too. So thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you, and have some happy shoots.